All right, so as part of our Elements of Compatibility series, I'm going to be looking at the nodes and how we relate to other people through the lens of the lines. So we know that the nodes have many, many values. On the design side, your environment. On the personality side, your view, perspective. This is how we see the world. This is what we see in the world. These are signposts for the kind of environment that's healthy for us. We also know that there are right and left variable perspectives, right? You have a right or a left variable view, and you also have a right or left variable environment and how different these are, the couch, potato, right variable environment versus the busy office of the left variable and so on. So we, we've already studied, I mean, the, those of us in human design, uh, the nodes in many ways. And of course, even you can go deeper and looking at the link nodes and all sorts of things. What we're going to do today is just look at the nodes just in terms of the lines. So I have third line nodes on each side. So first thing to do is look at what lines your nodes are in. And then we're going to look at that in terms of reactivity. And these are the kinds of people you're drawn to in the sense of how reactive you like them to be. Some, I mean, it sounds weird. Like, do we really want someone to be reactive? Yes. Have you seen those reaction videos where someone's, um, you know, getting into Harvard or, or Yale or, or winning a prize and you see the reactions of those people and these reactive people, usually they're a, they, they carry a first line somewhere in there, right? So the very reactive personality, the one, three, the one, four, the two, four, um, the two, five, or the very reactive design, which is going to be, um, a little bit less obvious, like you're not going to want to give me someone who has a very reactive design a, a gift and get a big reaction out of me. Why? Because usually what we're looking at in terms of the reactivity is the the personality. At the same time, it is there's obviously reactivity of the design side as well. We have to kind of understand the difference in these two things. I'll save that for the next video where we look at what is the difference of reactivity in the personality versus the, the design, right? What is it to have a reactive personality versus a reactive design? Um, you know, I have a very reactive design. I have a very unreactive personality. So we'll look at that in the next video. But I guess all I'd really say now is just to think about when you're looking at your nodes, typically these are going to be people that you're going to connect with more that share that same binary. And again, you can't make any decisions from this. It's like our blessing and our curse in life to be stuck with the people we love and hate who satisfy and frustrate us. I mean, there's no way that we're going to get satisfaction from someone, you know, um, you can't, someone can't satisfy you unless they can frustrate you, right? So, I mean, obviously these, th there's a certain, it's more just, it's not like we don't want to over, we don't want to read too much into what I, what the nodes are saying here. I'm not saying, again, like I've said in previous videos, that because you have more compatibility with someone means you're supposed to be together. Uh, it's nothing like that. You can have very low compatibility with someone. It just means you can't spend a lot of time with them um, without, you know, needing a break, some, something like that, right? But, but they might be your soulmate that you're meant to be with the rest of your life. Okay, so I have third line nodes. I'm drawn to very middle reactivity people, people that can be reactive or not. And having that ability to either be reactive or to not be reactive is sort of like, I guess you could say that opportunistic ability, waiting for the right timing for things. I like that about three fives, three sixes, four sixes, four ones. I'm, I'm very drawn to that quality.